Hello, welcome back to Streamliner. So, as you all know, the shunting update released yesterday. It added a bunch of new stuff. If you want to know what was added and kind of a small tutorial on how to do it, watch my latest video. Uh, speaking of that video, I think that's the record for my highest grossing video yet, not counting shorts. That video, if I remember correctly, it got like... 200 300 views in like two or five hours I, I forget I forget which one but it, it's a it was a pretty popular video and of course it was because the shunting update came out that same day so a lot of people were looking for videos of, of it so <laughs> thank you guys so much for um, uh, interacting with that like we got a lot of likes views comments so yeah, thank you, um, and I got a lot of subscribers too from that. <laughs> uh, okay, so what we are going to do today is a bit of a more proper guide. What I be what I mean by that is, like the last video I did a little tutorial on how to use the new shunting mechanics, and fortunately I derailed, and it kind of got cut short, and I couldn't really explain much, but. Today, in this video, we are not derailing, or whatever happened last time that got our train removed, and we are actually going to do a tutorial, so if you're still having trouble with uh, how to use the shunting mechanics, this video will hopefully teach you how to do it, and you'll finally know how to do it, so let's get into it. So we're in here, and at the top right you can see a little tutorial thing, so our first step to finishing our run is to reverse at the marker. So in other words, you're gonna go up to the marker, go past it until it says, uh, stop your train to reverse. Then stop your train, then press T to reverse. It's pretty simple. This is always the easiest part of the runs, reversing at the, the marker. Uh, if you don't wanna see all of these, you could just press it and you can see one. All right, so see, we go past it and then it'll show stop your train to reverse. So that's your cue to stop. There we go. And press T to reverse. And then couple wagon, zero out of one wagon. So you can see the markers over there. So we're gonna go up to that marker and we're going to couple up to the wagon or coach, I should say, because we're, sh we're uh, shunting coaches here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. All right, make sure not to take it too fast, which I might have done there. Don't be like me and take it a bit slower. <laughs> uh, hopefully we don't get a penalty here. And we did. Uh, good thing is, when you go a little bit too hard into the coaches, wagons, whatever you're going into, um, it doesn't remove your train like it probably would if it wasn't a shunter. It just gives you a penalty and it decreases your bonus, which is... A really good feature, I'm really happy they did that. Uh, <laughs> if our train did get removed, if we rammed a bit too hard into them, uh, that would be a lot less enjoyable, so I'm really happy they added that. And once you're done that, we're gonna go up ahead and pass the marker once again. By the way, you don't you don't have to take the route that I'm taking right now, you could really do any. Um, the mechanics are for any route, and we took it a bit too fast, that's fine. Let's couple up. I love the little animation they added for coupling the coaches together. Really cool detail that they didn't have to do, but they did, and I really like that. Now we're going to go ahead and reverse set that marker once again. Let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. Now we can reverse once again and couple up more wagons. Um, it's, as you can see here, it's very simple, it's not as complicated as you think. It's a bit intimidating at first, I didn't get it at first either, but, uh, you'll get used to it really quickly, especially with the help of this video. <laughs> Alright, here we go, I think that should be good. Unless that was, oh no, that's perfect. And we just made it, alright. So, as you can see, it is a bit repetitive, but as I saw someone say in the chat uh, earlier, it's a very easy and faster way to make uh, cash, so, yeah, I mean, 
I guess it's worth it. It's just, it usually takes a while. I've done some runs where it just seems like it won't end. <laughs> but overall, really good update. Love it. I don't really have any issues with it. Alright, let's take this slow. I think that's a bit too fast. Probably gonna get a penalty again. And we did. See, I'm not that good either, so... <laughs> um, let's couple up. And there we go. Let's hop back onto the train. And we're reversing once again. Alright. Let's time this right. Oh wait, I forgot. We're, we're not picking up wagons here. <laughs> Let's wait until they're all passed. Make sure to always do that. Um, yeah, always make sure that your coaches or whatever have you are past the marker. Okay, a bit late, but it's fine. So, sometimes it says something about you failed to stop at the marked area and your train will be deleted. That's happened to me many, many times. I'm still not really sure what it means. Um, like... It tells me to stop at a marked area, so I stop at that marked area, and then it tells me you failed to stop at that marked area, which doesn't make any sense. I'm still I'm still learning, just like you guys. Uh, once I figure it out, I'll definitely let you guys know because I'm sure some of you are having trouble with it too, or it's just a me thing. Maybe <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Quick tip: make sure to always go slow, as I mentioned earlier. Always use slow trains like the SM24. Um, even the NS1 is pretty suitable for this job, even though it's quite expensive, like the NS24, uh, or SM24, I mean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, make sure you're always taking it slow. Uh, oh no, did I do the thing again? It didn't prompt me the stop your train to reverse thing. Oh, wait, am I picking up wagons? Wait, I think I messed up. Man, wait, let's see. So, yeah, it said failed to stop your train at the marked area, I think. I think that's what it's about to say. Um, let's see. Yeah. Failed to park, wait, failed to stop your train in the marked area, your train will be removed. This is what happened to me last time. I don't know how to get past that. I mean, I guess, oh, <laughs> I guess I had to stop there, like closer. Maybe I didn't have to pass it, actually, that time. But it's really weird. Uh, once I figure out how to do it, I'll definitely do a full run. But that's pretty much all you need to know. Uh, always take it slow, use small trains. Uh, aim for... If you're practicing, aim for um, shorter runs. But if you want to work to get golden and XP, like grinding, you should go for the, the longer ones. Um, overall, really good update. Uh, I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's not that complicated. It's just that one part that keeps messing me up and probably messing you up, uh, you guys up too. So, once I figure it out, uh, once I figure out how to get past that, I'll let you guys know. And uh, I might make an updated proper tutorial. But that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll definitely be doing a live stream or two later on. I'll be making some more videos too. So look out for those and yep, see you guys later.